Hey guys, ladies and gentlemen, how's everybody doing today? It is 10 of 12 here in good old southern New Jersey. It's going to be a hot one today here, guys. And I just wanted to go over some, um, and I think I've already showed these before, but I was uh, in my room last night checking out uh, my knives, and I looked at these again, and I was like, you know something? I have to show these knives again. They're Otter Messer knives uh, out of Solingen, Germany, but they're Otter Messers. Um, and they have to be some of the finest knives coming out of Solingen, Germany that I have put my hands on. Um, I'm a big, uh, how do I say it? I'm a big Boker guy. I'm a big Solingen, Germany guy. I love anything German made because it's premium. It is premium. I've got a pair of uh, scissors, um, and they, they're from Solage in Germany. And these scissors are of the highest quality. If you use these scissors, you'll never go back to a cheap pair of scissors again because most people don't think scissors, you know, you just buy them, you know, at Walmart for two bucks, three bucks, if you buy, if you invest in a quality pair of scissors, oh my goodness, it's it's a game changer. But what I'm trying to say is, these scissors were coming out of Solage in Germany, and I never knew that. I mean, everything that comes out of Germany is top notch, top notch. But anyway, I wanted to give you guys a look at my, you know, uh, growing. Um, Otter Messer pieces, and I got a couple more that's on my radar, but um, they're pretty expensive, you know. They're, I mean, they're affordable, but you know, they could get up there. They could get up there. This end one here, this bees um, Otter Messer, is a hundred dollars. That's a hundred. This is a hundred dollar knife right here, guys. So, but that's my most expensive knife in the collection. So let's go ahead and show you what's going on here. Break it down a little bit. And I mean, I'm telling you, these knives are no frills. I mean, they're not the best looking knives on the planet, but they will serve you well. They will serve you well. They're built incredibly great. And um, they're just all around good knives. That's all I'm gonna say. So let's take a look at this first one here. Now, if you like uh, sod busters, this is like a big or a large, I'm sorry, this is like a large sod buster. Nothing too much different than a large sod buster. But this knife here is absolutely incredible. It's absolutely incredible. Now, I was cutting something with this last night or the night before. I was cutting cantaloupe. And guys, when I tell you this knife excelled, it excelled at cotton cantaloupe. Um, it was just a joy cotton cantaloupe. Now cantaloupe soft, I know, but it was just it just glided through my cuts. All the cuts were perfect. Um, this knife is about as sharp as you're going to get a pocket knife, right here. Um, like I said, they're all all of these are coming out of Solage in Germany. Um, but I just wanted to give you a look at this. Uh, as you can see, um, looks like a saw buster, right? That looks like a saw buster. I think that this one comes in fifty-five or sixty dollars. You got the little otter there. It always shows that right there, and it says otter right there. And you have the uh, little otter. But as far as the knife goes, oh boy, um, 55 or 60 bucks for this piece, guys. And you will not, you will not be disappointed. So that this is the reason why I'm trying to show you these pieces, um, because they're that good. So that is that one there. This one, I got two anchor knives. 
this one is the wood, the wood covers, and you gotta just look at the the wood on this thing and just how nice that brass uh, anchor turn really, really fit and finish is really good on these. Um, they're stout knives, they're built very, very well. Um, just give you a look at this. Look how beautiful that is. That is just fantastic. That's a fantastic piece, guys. Um, I don't know how else to say it. Just a wonderful, wonderful piece. Great in the hand. All four fingers you're going to get in your hand. It's an awesome cutter. Very, very sharp. Super sharp. All these knives out of the box are very, very sharp. Now, they don't come in a box. I'll show you what they come in. Hold on a minute. Put this down. They come in this uh, plastic um, tube here. This is what it comes in. This is exactly how you're going to receive it. But, um, back to the knife. Just a great piece of cutlery. Just... It's just an awesome piece to use. Very, very nice. So, you got that one there. Um, and we got the same knife, pretty much. Except this one's got this beautiful, beautiful white bone. And you've got like this bluing on the blade. Uh, this blade is spectacular. And this one might even be sharper than this one here. It is. Oh, man. Um, but look at that white bone. You've got white bone on this one. And you've got the blade. It didn't say it was bluing or blued. But that's what it looks like to me. The blade was blued. Look at that. Oh, I want, there you go. Look at that coloring. Look at that purple. That's like a purplish. That is like a purplish. That's a cool shot right there. I'm glad the sun uh, came through the window at that like that. But this blade is one of my favorite blades. I mean, guys, it's an awesome piece. Um, I don't know what else, I, you know. Like I said, I'm just showing you these. I just... You know, but they're very, very good knives, man. They're very good knives. Just saying, if you're interested in Otter Messer, um, I mean, I love them. I got my radar on another one, uh, another one of these. This is called the Three Rivet Knife. And guys, when I tell you, this was one of the first ones I got. Um, this is just a, a an incredible. This is an incredible piece of cutlery. Now, this one's got some patina on it. Of course, they are all carbon blades. These are all carbon blades. This one's been picking up a little bit of patina. Patina, patina, patina. And just look at this blade. Look at that spear blade. Look at that. That is just a fantastic... I mean, if you need to do some kind of work, man, and get work done, I mean, it's a strong knife. It's a bigger knife. You could get all four fingers on it and just look at the work you can get done with it. Look at that. You want to talk about getting some work done, you can get it done with this. Definitely, for sure, you can get it done with this. But just another beautiful piece. I love the three rivets here. It just goes. It just looks good. It just looks good against this wood. I think it's walnut. But just look at the wood grain. A lot of them, uh, most of them come in wood. But they're just beautiful, beautiful pieces. Beautiful pieces. So that's that one there. Here's the same knife, very similar, if not the same, except again, in this white bone. I had, I couldn't resist the white bone, you know what I mean? 
But just take a look at that, you know. I'll show you both of these side by side. Real uh, nice opening on them. Let me show you here. Give you a comparison in case you're interested. But you can see those blades, how beautiful. I mean, now that's, that's, that's something right there. That is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous, guys. What do you guys think? I just love them. I love them. That spear blade. It's that spear blade, that big spear, man. God, I love a nice spear blade. So that's that. Um, just really nice. And then if you keep oil on that pivot, it'll get better because the pull and stuff is tight on them. And that's the way they want it, I think. That's the way they want it. But mine's broken, getting broken in really nice. Now, this is the uh, star of the uh, whole lineup here. This is my bee's knife. You can see the bee in there. You don't even feel the transition with the inlay. And this one here is a $100 knife, as I mentioned to you before. But you can see this wood grain is just absolutely beautiful. You got brass. That's a brass bolster there. Really nice brass bolster. Has taken on a nice patina. So has the inlay on the uh, B. It's taken on a real nice patina. This was all sh real, real high shiny when it first came. But look at this wood. Look how beautiful that wood is. Brass liners. Look how beautiful the fit and finish is on that. Look at that fit and finish. It's just fantastic. And then you open up the blade and then you've got yourself another spear. Look at that. I mean, that is, I mean, if you don't get excited about that just a little bit, I don't know, guys. I don't know. But I know I'm excited over them. I mean, the fit and finish, the build quality, these are just fantastic knives. Fantastic knives. All German knives are fantastic, guys. All of them. All of them. So I figured I'd give you a look at that. So you guys let me know what you think. And um, yeah, that's my collection so far. My Otter knives, Otter Messers. Let me know what you think, guys. Be good. Be well. And above all, please be safe out there, guys. Enjoy your Sunday. Get ready for RJ's Live. RJ's coming in hot soon. And uh, join up with uh, the gang over there. So you guys take care of yourselves and enjoy your Sunday. Bye-bye now.